The code that will truly blow your mind and reveal our coded reality. Today's date is 7-4-24, and today is the 248 year anniversary of USA declaring its independence. Matthew 24, eight, all these are the beginning of sorrows. 74 times 24 equals 1,776. The United States of America was founded in 1776. The first day in office for the 47th US president is 1,776 days after COVID-19 was declared a global pandemic. The Bavarian Illuminati were founded in 1776. Queen Elizabeth II was born 1,776 days after Prince Philip was born. Princess Charlotte of Wales is the second child and only daughter of William, Prince of Wales, and Catherine, Princess of Wales, a granddaughter of King Charles III. She is third in the line of succession to the British throne. Now, Princess Charlotte of Wales was born exactly four years after Osama bin Laden died. I believe this connects to the four horsemen. And she was born a span of exactly 1,776 days before COVID-19 was declared a global pandemic. Guys, Wales' flag is the red dragon. Satan is the red dragon in the Bible. This is all biblical, guys. Now, 9-11 is the most devastating attack on US soil. And Israel being attacked by Hamas is being referenced as Israel's 9-11. Queen Elizabeth II died 911 days after COVID-19 was declared a global pandemic. Her husband, Prince Philip, died 911 days before Israel was attacked by Hamas, which again is very biblical. It connects to Ezekiel 38. King Charles III was born a span of exactly 911 weeks before the Church of Satan was founded. Revelation 9.11. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. Just know that Prince Philip, guys, was born in Greece, the father of King Charles III. The Church of Satan has nine satanic statements and 11 satanic rules of the earth. Interestingly, the Church of Satan was founded April the 30th, 1966, exactly 21 years after Adolf Hitler died. And it was founded in San Francisco. San Francisco was founded in 1776. I believe that Donald Trump will become the 47th US president. And he was exactly 911 months old on the day that Israel turned 74 years old. Currently, their Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, is 74 years old. And USA was founded on 7-4. And King Charles III was coronated at age 74. Now, 1,776 hours is 74 days. How wild, guys. Now, 911 days after 9-11-2001 was 3-10-2004, which was Osama bin Laden's 47th birthday, who we told was the mastermind behind 9-11. And Donald Trump claimed that he witnessed 9-11 firsthand. And I believe he will become the 47th US president. USA turned 248 years old, a span of 666 days after Queen Elizabeth II died. And on the day the UK general election took place, where Labour will come into party, which I coded, and Sir Keir Rodney Stammer, will become the UK Prime Minister. And he was born exactly 17 years after World War II ended. Stammer was born on 9-2, and USA was founded a span of exactly nine weeks and two days after the Illuminati were founded. Revelation 9-2, and he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. If Donald Trump becomes the 47th US president, his first day in office will be exactly eight years after his first day in office as the 45th US president. 1,776 divided by eight equals 222. 
9-11 took place exactly 222 months before COVID-19 was declared a global pandemic. And Donald Trump claimed that he witnessed 9-11 firsthand and that he is the father of the vaccine. 222 months is 18 years and six months. USA was founded on the 186th day of 1776. The War of 1812 between the United States of America and Great Britain began on 186. And exactly three years later, the Battle of Waterloo began on 186-1815. 186 years after the Battle of Waterloo occurred, 9-11-2001 occurred. Now, George Bush Jr. was the president during 9-11 and his father, George Bush Sr., died at age 94 and his wife, Barbara Bush, died at age 92. 94 plus 92 equals 186. Argentina just won the 2022 FIFA World Cup, all connected to Revelation. So now they've won it in 78, 86, and 22. 78 plus 86 plus 22 equals 186. Why do you think Lionel Messi and Argentina are playing today in the Copa America? Lionel Messi, who resides in Miami, where Donald Trump was born? Isn't that interesting, eh? The only game of the Copa America taking place today is Argentina against Ecuador on the anniversary of USA declaring its independence, guys. And the Copa America is taking place in USA. Now, the 2022 FIFA World Cup final was one day after Pope Francis's 86th birthday. Argentina won it. Pope Francis was born in Argentina, guys. Donald Trump was first indicted on 3-30-23, a span of exactly one year, eight months, and six days before he was found guilty. Founder of the World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab, was born on 3-30, and he founded the World Economic Forum in 1971. Okay, the German Klaus Schwab. Elon Musk was born in 1971, on a day leaving 186 days left in the year, and the 2024 solar eclipse took place nine months and 11 days after Elon Musk's birthday. Okay, check out Neuralink, which is all about bringing in the mark of the beast, guys. 1,776 days after USA was founded in 1776. 1,776 days after USA was founded in 1776 was 15-5-1781. is a huge number, guys. Claydex, the pandemic simulation, took place on 15-5 in 2018, 666 days before coronavirus was declared a global pandemic. Now, Kobe Bryant, his highest scoring game was in his 666 game, and he wore number 24 and number 8 during his NBA career, and today, USA turned 248 years old. And I'm telling you, since Kobe Bryant died, the year Donald Trump was the president, the world began to completely collapse. Tell me I'm wrong. What else happened in 2020? Diego Maradona died as well. Since Diego Maradona died, Messi wins the Copa America and the World Cup. How convenient. Operation Warp Speed, which was about rushing out the vaccine, began in 2020 on 15-5. That's where Donald Trump gave himself the self-proclaimed title as the father of the vaccine. And finally, Kobe Bryant was inducted into the NBA Hall of Fame in 2021 on 15-5. And coronavirus equals 155. Kobe Bryant died the year that coronavirus was declared a global pandemic. He was buried in Corona Del Mar and he's taken more shots than anybody in the history of the NBA, and the NBA shut down the same day that coronavirus was declared a global pandemic. This code is mind-blowing. Millions of people need to watch this video. It's not gonna happen because Satan's the god of this world, okay? But this world is coming to an end. Satan's reign is coming to an end, okay? Get right with Jesus 
Everything is being revealed to us now, guys, that we're living at the end of days. No longer love the world and instead love the word and give your life to Jesus Christ whilst you still can. All the information in here is undeniable. Take care, much love. God wins!